So let's start selling like a doctor. Okay. So we have three basic steps in guts, just to keep it simple. Agenda, qualification, commitment to the close. Okay. What does a doctor do? Doctor does an examination. Okay. Then forms a diagnosis, then prescribes surgery, medication. When they do an exam, so what, so these are the three same steps, aren't they basically? The doctor has to ask questions. Uh, listen, uh, sit, sit up on this. Uh, sit up, up on this table. Why are you in here? They're going to ask questions. They're going to do a diagnosis. Uh, they're going to ask the who, what, when, where, and why. What kind of a role should the doctor be playing? Same as a salesperson. What role would be much better rather than a no? Should it? Should a doctor act as as a uh, as a professional, as an expert, right? We want trust. They want we want uh, we want a trusting relationship. Likeability, of course, we like it when we like our doctor. But the most important thing is: is that doctor a professional? Are they assertive to a degree? Not a bully, not overpowering. We want someone who acts that role. Do you think this role could be useful in sales? The answer is absolutely. So you get a doctor. The first thing they want to do is examination. They're going to ask questions. Do we ask questions in the gut sales method? Absolutely. The doctor might say, what, what are some typical questions a doctor might say? Why are you here to see me? How long has it been a problem? What activities or work do you do that might have caused this problem? Did your mother or father have these problems? When did you first notice it? What is your pain or problem? What did you do? Did you do anything? Did you take medication? Did you see another doctor? Did it work? Can we talk about some solutions, how we can fix it, how we can remove the pain or make it better? Is, is this, do you see some similarity here, folks? Absolutely. So let's, let's go a little further down here to another little mind map I put together. So when we see a doc, when we sell like a, if we want to sell like a doctor, what the first thing we should do is maybe um, uh, remove the pre uh, remove the pressure, qualify them, act up, qualify them up front. First thing a doctor would say to a patient is, "Why are you here? What hurts? Why does why do you think it hurts? How when did it start hurting? What would we do in a in a real estate sales?" The, what does the typical amateur salesperson do right away? Try to overload. The I couldn't hear you. You're going to have to repeat that. Hit them with the presentation and overload them with information. Right. What would a guts person do? Judge? What would a, a pattern interrupt? What would a gut salesperson say to a new prospect in, if they were selling like a doctor? What's the problem and how can I help you? What's the problem? Why are we talking today? Where does it hurt? Well, why do, what did your realtor say? What did, you know, why, why are you having so much trouble buying a home, selling a home, investing in a home? What would you like to see happen? Uh, what would you like to see happen today if we could solve that problem? If I could solve that problem, because I've done a lot of studying, I've done other deals, I work with people in your situation. If you found a solution, would you be willing to make a decision today? Qualification. So we ask questions, we get information, we act as an expert up front without the, without the irrelevant information presentation. We just go right in. We let the prospect become the salesperson. We let them give us the information we need. The prospect can tell us what's wrong, what they want to do about it, and how much money they, do they have the money or the budget for it. If we find out that they don't want a solution, they're just trying to pick our brain for free information. They don't have the money to pay us or the money to qualify for a loan. What can we do with that person? What can we do with that, pay, uh, with that person? We can fire them right up front, right? So instead of giving that long, long presentation and, and having all that rapport, pretentious uh, bonding and rapport and giving up 45 minutes of our life, answering questions or driving in our car, 
if we could find out upfront what their needs are, are their needs emotional enough to take an action? Do they have the authority to make a decision? Is it timely today? And do they have the money or the economics or the control of the property so that we could do business today?